The aim of this technique is to close a wound in such a way that no suture is visible on the skin surface. An absorbable, undyed suture material is used for increased cosmesis. The first bite is made deep and passed superficial. Starting the bite on the opposite edge superficially, it is then passed deep. A reef knot is tied with just three throws to keep the suture material in the wound to a minimum. The tail should be divided as close to the knot as possible. The long length of suture must now be passed from deep to superficial at the apex of the incision. Working from the apex, small bites are placed just deep to the dermal layer. The entry point of a bite is placed directly opposite the exit point of the previous bite. The suture is pulled along the line of the incision to close the wound edges. Once the other end of the wound is reached, the sutures will be quite superficial and it will not be possible to place a deep knot. A superficial knot at this point will erode through the skin surface and produce a small stitch abscess, reducing overall cosmesis. Thus, to complete this closure, the needle is reinserted at the apex and driven through the tissues to emerge distal to the wound. A Z-shaped suture is placed, passing the needle back into the skin close to the previous exit point and driving it perpendicular to the incision. To complete the Z-suture, the needle is again inserted at the previous exit point and driven perpendicular to the wound. The suture is then divided flush with the skin surface, leaving the wound closed with no visible suture.